something is being pulled to ask about um, forgiveness of existence itself, of the whole bloody mess. Mm -hmm. um, and Amod, it sort of came to me when you were talking about the divine mess and how uh, really there may be a point where we come to where you realize things won't be tied up in a bow all cleanly all said and done. So I just wanted to ask or, or explore it or think about the, just the forgiveness of existence itself, that concept. That's exactly it, Laurie. That's what we come to in the end. Life, Buddha said, life is suffering. That is, doesn't mean that we're all victims of life. <laughs> it means it's a mess. It's a mess in the sense that life itself, existence cannot exist without polarity because existence itself implies non-existence. We would not know anything. We would not know existence if there was no polarity, no opposites. That's why everything manifests in duality. Life is duality. I'll say it again. There is birth, there is death. There is gain, there is loss. There is sun rising, there is sun setting. Everything, yeah, there is growth and there is decay. It is embedded in the nature of existence. There is not a single thing in the outer world that we perceive or the inner world that we perceive that is not subject to the law of duality. Non-dual realization cuts through that to see that duality is born of the one. That's non-duality. It doesn't negate it. It doesn't erase duality. It sees the nature of duality, the source of duality. The one beingness, the one consciousness manifests, expresses that whole play that whole dance otherwise we would not know existence we wouldn't even be existing yeah nothing would exist and to imagine nothing existing is impossible it's an impossibility yeah so to really see that and to accept that as the nature of reality mm -hmm brings us to such forgiveness of the whole play that appears to be a mess, yeah? Because there's war and there's death and there's sickness and there's poverty and there's misunderstanding and there's ignorance of true nature. And there's also beauty and majesty and, 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 and oneness, all of it, yeah? To forgive that brings an end to the whole conundrum of existence <laughs> yeah allows you to exist just as it is and stop yearning stop craving for some perfect state whether that perfect state is the human perfect state whatever that might be in yourself or the perfect state of the world the end yeah the the, the end result of perfection yes we are evolving we are growing perhaps we are awakening as a human race, or perhaps not. Yeah, wherever you look, you can see evidence of our, both in opposition to each other. Can we know? We cannot possibly know. It's just all unfolding as it is. All you can do is take responsibility for your own inner state. Yeah. And it's temporary anyway, because at some point you won't exist as you know yourself to exist right now. <laughs> Perhaps you'll exist as something else because everything is recycled. But <laughs> there's no knowing of that at, at this point. Yes. So yes, the forgiveness of existence is the ultimate forgis forgiveness, the ultimate freedom and the ultimate love. Because what choice do you have? You're going to hate it. You're going to fight it. You're going to resent it. You're going to try and fix it. Well, you're back in the, in the suffering, but you can live in the suffering as freedom. <laughs>